Zika virus, a big focus in St. John's County today. Governor Scott traveling to St. Augustine. He'll host a roundtable about preparedness. Mel joins us. Who's going to be involved in this discussion? A lot of people at the table. We know various community leaders will be there. We don't have any specifics as of yet, but Governor Scott hosted similar roundtable discussions throughout the state during the past several weeks. It comes as efforts ramp up, particularly in South Florida, to prevent the spread of the Zika virus. Fighting Zika from above. These planes were flying over South Florida this weekend, spraying insecticide across a 10 mile area. The early results seem promising with a high kill rate in the traps. Here's the latest breakdown. There are 422 cases of Zika in Florida, 351 are travel related, 16 are from Florida mosquitoes, and 55 others involve pregnant women. Three of the travel related cases are in St. John's County. And while that's not a lot, Governor Scott wants to have a discussion with leaders today about how to prepare in case that number goes up. He is hoping for more help from the federal government and is frustrated about the battle over a $1.9 billion Zika funding bill. Congress and President have not been able to come together and pass a bill to provide more funding. We're continuing to ask the federal government to help with uh, mosquito control, help reimburse at the state level. But I can tell you at the state level, we're going we're gonna to spend the money that we need to to, to, to do the right things. Now, Governor Scott's roundtable discussion is scheduled for 3.30 this afternoon at the St. John's County Health Department. We, of course, will be there 